Hi, my name is Dr. Megan Pollock, and I am here at the uh, Summit for Engineering Equity. And I am really thrilled to be surrounded by so many people who care about creating equitable and inclusive environments so that more people can reach their fullest potential within engineering and engineering pathways. Uh, today, this morning, uh, during my keynote, I talked about uh, a lot of different topics, but I was really aiming to help people understand and increase an awareness of the, the barriers that people face entering into and persisting within engineering, but also help people leave with some actions and some really key things that they can do, uh, because what's the point of awareness if we can't take any action? And so we talked about the four eyes of oppression. So we talked about ideologies that sort of undergird all of the, the sort of ways and ideas about people. We talked about how those ideologies become interpersonal and how we interact with one another. We talked about how those ideologies and interpersonal things then become parts of our institutions. And these three external forces then create internalized oppression that people face and experience and have to overcome as well. And so we talked about those four eyes of oppression and the sort of interlocking model um, and help people deal with some, with some actionable strategies that they can employ. Uh, you can learn more about this on my website at engineeringinclusion.com. Tons of free resources and tools that you can use to learn more about these different concepts. Um, and so my company helps people intentionally and systematically engineer equity and inclusion into their environments. Uh, I'm an engineer by training and I switched from widgets to workshops over a decade ago and really haven't changed, uh, switched back. And so um, another thing that we talked about was intersectionality and the importance of really recognizing the intersections of identity that people have. Certainly this term has been captured by the zeitgeist over the last few years, but what it really means is that people have different lived experiences based on their identities. So based on their gender, their race, their um, neurodivergence, their sexuality, their religion, their nationality, all of these things create overlapping identities that you have to begin to intersect and understand the experiences and who's being served. And so one of the things that I work with with my clients and educators and um, with industry is that we have to create data structures and systems that allow us to disaggregate our data based on multiple intersections, for example, race and gender, to understand who's being served. Because if we create opportunities and we say we're serving all women, but then we disaggregate also by race and see that certain groups of women aren't being served, then that gives us some opportunity to begin to address those changes. Um, so again, lots of free resources on my website. Um, reach out if there's anything I can do to help. And again, really grateful to the group here at UTRGV for creating this opportunity for all of us to come together, share ideas, and learn and grow together so that we can create more pathways for students in engineering.